Hi everybody. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Basilisk 2. It's a uh, 68k Macintosh emulator. So I don't know those old Performa and Quadras. I don't know if you remember them back in the early 90s. That's what this emulates. And we have a uh, system 7.5, Mac OS 7.5, already pre-installed on it. And you can uh, download it on the link to the right of the video in the video description. So once you do that, you want to unzip the file, which is pretty simple. Just open it up. Make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip or anything like that installed so you can open up this zip file. And then drag it to the desktop. It's unzipping it right now. It's about 100 megabytes. Then when you're done, just close. So here it is. This is what it should contain. So first, before we get going, you want to make sure that the ROM file, which is basically the ROM in the computer that we are emulating, is set up. And you also want to make sure that the hard drives are set up and you don't need to but you can make sure that your CD-ROM drive is set up in case you want to uh, dig up some old software and install it to work with your emulator so first you want to click this memory tab and then click browse go to where you just unzipped uh, the setup folder my desktop's a little messy right now that doesn't matter but so here we are. This is what we just unzipped. Now select Quadra650.rom and click open. And as you can see, F F is my main drive. Don't ask why. Document and settings, Alex, desktop, setup. So there it is. Yep. Now you want to make sure your disks are installed. Mine already are. As you can see, there's two disks that we'll be using. But in case yours isn't looking like this or if you're having problems when you boot up you want to click browse and you want to click disk and click open in my case I don't need to do it so I'm going to click cancel but make sure that is selected and then make sure this one is selected just like you see over here starter disk and disk and then if you want to you can set up the CD-ROM drive just make sure you have your two CD-ROM drives on the installed side not the available side. So I have D and E over here. Both of them are working. That's basically it. You don't need to really worry about everything else over here right now. So now just double click this and it should open up. And there you go. You can see it starts up pretty fast. Uh, system 7.5.5 all the control panels, jigsaw puzzle, stickies. See the thing is about the file I originally found is it doesn't have the whole system 7 and it still doesn't but I got my old restore CD out, I found it and I put most of it back. We're still missing a lot of things I think. I don't know it seems like there's a few things missing. Definitely some fonts missing because that's not all the fonts that came with system 7. Uh, there's some extensions missing, but it has all the important ones, so it's okay. Uh, now here's where I put all the files, applications, uh, we got stuff at Expander, which you need, I got that for you, simple text, Claris Works, which you might remember it as Apple Works, this is pre-Apple Works, uh, American Heritage Dictionary, the writing center, all of that, um, games, Aperion, uh, Bolo, Burning Rubber, Eric Solitaire, Sampler, unfortunately, Factory, Go for Golf, Happy Weed, uh, Kid Works, Mortal Pong Bat, Koji the Frog, Pac Mac Deluxe, Pizza Rush. Power Pete, 
It's the demo, unfortunately. I don't have the full power repeat on here. Uh, slime Invaders, Spectre, Spectre, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Swoop, Theme Park. I couldn't get Theme Park to work for me, but I included it anyway. Maybe you can get it to work. I don't know why it's not working. It really pissed me off. Thinking Things, Warcraft, the demo. Again, I don't have all the full versions here. Um, I added this folder just for the hell of it. Some Apple Extras, Apple Script, HyperCard Player, uh, Quick Draw, uh, some other old stuff that you might remember. Click Art. Um, yeah, more Clip Art. E Worlds. <laughs> e World. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know. It's for you to check out now, so go ahead and download it and set it up. See what you can do with it. Post a video if you want. If you add some more stuff, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking this video out. See ya.